After a year long delay, popular brunch destination Screen Door is set to open a new location in the Pearl District today. Of course, Cor Harlan had to check it out. He's live at Screen Door ahead of their grand opening. And Cor, what can people expect when they visit this new spot? Wow, quite an experience and quite a, uh, quite a change from what this place was. Uh, we're standing right here. This is the first thing you'll see when you walk into the Screen Door here at 11th and Northwest Cooch. Dan Grill is next to me here. He is the executive chef. And this, this is kind of the, well, they, they, in this restaurant, they call this the money shot, the screen door sign there on the, uh, on the tile below. Check all that out. That is a signature look right there. Congratulations. I'd Thank shake you. your hand. I'll give you an elbow fist on this. This is a beautiful facility. We have a couple minutes. We're going to spend this first couple minute segment here kind of looking around, first of all. And... Tell me a little bit about the inspiration behind some of this design and what it, what it is. Well, if you've been to the Burnside location, I feel like we've all, we all feel comfortable there. It's a very homey uh, feel. We've always gone for that kind of the grandmother's house. You know, the screen door, the name came from uh, Nicole, the owner, her grandmother's house in Louisiana. Her, it was in the big old acreage. And there was a big front porch, and the family always came in, and the screen door would go slap, slap, slap. <laughs> and you always felt like, ah, whatever you had problem-wise, you could just chill out. It's a relaxing. Yeah, yeah that's and, cool. that's, and that's what we wanted to save in this place, you know? Well, you've got it here in front of, in the dining room here, which, which, will be, uh, which will be packed on a lot of days and nights, and it's just really comfortable. It's a beautiful setting here, right across Kitty Quarter from uh, Powell's Books yeah, yeah. and uh, Whole Foods over there. Let's go back behind sure. the kitchen, Carl. I'd be happy to show follow you. Dan in there because the kitchen is really where the sizzle meets the steak. I think it's, it's <laughs> beautiful. I mean, it those, sure does. Right? It sure I mean, does. this is a beautiful kitchen. Well, it's still there's a couple things that are still uh, yet to be uh, coming in. You know, you got a lot of supply chain issues in this time uh, uh, in our lives of the pandemic. But eventually, we're going to have long wood shelves across here for the pass, and long wood shelves up there. It's this acacia, this fire-hardened acacia. Dan, we got one minute to go, so let's get let's get going here. I'm sorry, Absolutely. Carl. We'll walk. Let's walk by Carl because I want to. I want folks to see back here oh, the yeah, fire where all the fried chicken happens and stuff like that. Thirty to forty-five seconds. You go over there, Dan, okay. or right over there. This is where all the magic happens, right here. You got thirty seconds to explain this. Five this, uh, fryers. Five, five fryers. fryers. Yeah. With the new technology that gets oil in and oil out without having to shuttle hot oil out of there. So the cooks are a lot more safe and just the place stays cleaner and yes. clean is what we need. Yeah, yeah. These are the best. State of the art griddles. Everybody needs a griddle in their house. Everybody whether they know it or not, they do. <laughs> yeah. And you right? can get one. You know those yeah. little cheap Fred Meyer yeah. ones? I have one of those. <laughs> not one of these. No, not, not one of these at home. This is blue steel, bead welded, made up in Bellingham, Washington. I can change the heat every 12 inches so we can do all sorts of stuff here. I like the fryers. Every home Everybody should have does. a fryer that's too. What we're, that's All what the, pays the, this, the bills. Is, this is what puts the brown on well, top of the mac and cheese. Yeah, right? if you've ever had our mac and cheese, you oh, get yes. that crispy cheese topping. Yeah. Well, this sucker is going to keep doing that for us here. All right, we got about 15 seconds left. We could we could go on and on because it goes back here again. <laughs> it's been built brand new from the from the studs out, and it's a grand opening day here at the screen door. You've known about their East Burnside location for some time. They are now opening a, this new store here, and we're going to have some food out here, I'm told, next hour at 11th and Northwest Cooch. Screen door, grand opening day today. It's a day that should be on a calendar for, uh, for Dan and, uh, and the owner here because it's, yeah, been a it's, long, it's been a long haul. We'll be back here with maybe some, uh, maybe we'll put these fryers to work. I have no idea what Dan has planned, Jenny and Ken, but it's a big day here in Northwest Portland. Wow, that is amazing. That is a great looking uh, shop, great looking restaurant. Uh, yeah. We love the screen door on the east side as well. And the new location, you say it's at 11th and Cooch we do. in the Pearl District. Mm -hmm. yeah, perfect. What a perfect location. It's, yep. it's right amongst lots of living, lots of retail, right, right amongst all the activity yeah. here. Yeah. Uh, and it's it's gonna be. I hope he has some collard greens. I can't wait to get my mouth on some collard greens. Wait, there, you right? can't wait to get They're your on mouth there. on everything. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. He can charge fourteen fifty. Oh, okay. He well, can charge fourteen fifty for those collard greens, and I'd still order them. Yeah, <laughs> we know you would. All yes, right. All right. Thanks, Gore. See you in the next hour.